Hey everybody, it's an Isaac episode. Ugh. There we go. <sighs> Probably shouldn't get excited. The reason I'm recording this right now is because I've got nothing to do and I'm waiting to fall asleep. And also, I like. <laughs> My choice was either this or FTL for something to do, and the decision was literally made based on how I feel like sitting in my chair. Like if I had a, if I had a um, armrest mounted mouse pad type thing, I would absolutely be playing FTL. But um, I just want to play something. And since I can play Isaac with a controller, you know, that's why I'm doing it. So, we got Max's head. First item room. It's gonna be an alright run. There's really not much more to say about that. It's probably one of the best items you can get in the first item room. Yes, it's special, which actually helps. If you don't think of special as being a negative, because um, some of the special items suck, and some of the non-special items are great. Case in point being, mom's knife is not special. So if you have special items that aren't, like, if you have special items that aren't terrible, like toothpicks, I would say definitely pick them up. Like, there's no real reason to avoid them, really. Uh, okay, I'll take that. Roll that. Oh boy. My shot speed, or my uh, knockback's gonna be absolutely insane. So. Oh boy. Can't remember if that's special, but. Hey, if it is, then we have a ton of special items. And by ton, I mean two. But, whatever. So, knockback's gonna be absolutely absurd this whole run. And then things will get slowed constantly, which is awesome. It's not quite mom's eye level, or mom's contact level of awesome, but it's very good. And I should absolutely get a devil deal here. There is no reason I should take any damage in this fight at all. Especially with how hard I can keep the Duke of Flies down at the bottom. Yeah. It's gonna be just fine. Give me that devil deal. Uh Balls. Well, if they were the other way around, I would absolutely do this. But I can't. So I won't. Because I would have taken the paw. And then... Pawed away a second heart to get the head. And then if I was able to re-roll them, I would have done that as well. Range up. I figure no reason not to take pills when not actually trying to go for anything in particular, like a deathless streak or something. And even if I was, I would still take pills, because, you know, it's good, and I can never remember to uh, not do that. Okay, definitely do this. Um, I guess now we just go to the item room. Nope. Yes. Awesome. So many special items. Jeez. Statistical Anomaly is probably the title of this run. By the way, if you didn't know, the graphic on Spider Bite is broken. Uh, if you look there, it's actually not quite touching Isaac's head. Uh, same there, it kind of comes off. There it's stuck, and there it's stuck. But up and right are broken. 
Just thought you might find that a little interesting. Did I go this way? Yes, but I didn't do this. Okay. All those are gotten rid of. No more bombs, no more keys. Let's get some more range. And caves XL. Great. Not exactly what I want to see. I just generally don't like XL floors. They're just really wide and annoying. Oops. Don't get hit. Damn it. There we go. Hosts and... Oh god, these guys are gonna be frustrating, to say the least, with all my knockback. Well, but wait, the slowing kind of counteracts my knockback, so never mind. Ah. That was me misplaying this room. More than the room itself being difficult in any way. Mm, kinda wanna go back for the heart. Probably will after this room. Oops. Glad I closed Spider Mod actually before I did this run. Because I was fiddling around with one other soft lock. Um, that being the one where you use the ladder and very high speed to get yourself trapped in, I believe, it might be a room exclusive to the Necropolis, although it may be in the depths as well. Not sure. Um, it's the room with the tur the three turrets in the middle, and you can get caught on a pit with the ladder. And that's like one of the biggest reasons I could ever give for not grabbing the ladder. But anyways, I was messing around with that and found out, yes, for sure, there is no way out of that. Even if you have Mr. Mega, you can't get out. Because you can't get bombs to actually push you, it seems. Cool. And we won't take this until PhD identifies it. Pretty fly. Thanks. Would shoot at those. Doesn't really matter. Not now, anyways. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Kind of makes me wish I hadn't re-rolled Roid Rage, but I'll take it. So Roid Rage would have given me enough speed to kind of happily give that away. Oh boy. Unfortunately, I didn't come to this floor with five cents. Maybe if, um, maybe if we find a blood bank, I can make good use of this. If I find a blood bank, I should be able to force either an IV bag or a blood bag. Both of which would be very nice right now. And unfortunately, I don't have anything like Book of Belial. Could have done a neat little trick here that I'm sure you all have seen before. It's the, uh. F well, it's a trick specific to bosses like Fistula and Teratoma. Where once you, like, within a few frames of killing the first phase, you can actually, um, 
activate your spacebar item and that will that will cause the doors to open and an item to spawn but the boss will still be alive so when you leave the room you come back in you get another chance of boss and another free item well free in the sense that all you got to do is kill the boss again and not die you could actually repeat that at infinitum so cool we got cube of meat I will gladly take one more of those but really don't want anything to do with a uh, third or fourth cube unless I could go for a full eight but even that I don't really want to do right now so I value my orbitals way too much and I want to see if I can get into the other item room. Probably won't be able to for lack of keys and stuff. Man, the damage that I have right now is very good. Ugh, come on. Damn it. Hmm. I'm trying to think of interesting things to say and I really don't have anything. I'm sorry. I've never been good at filler commentary. of spades I'm not too much of a fan of doesn't have a high enough like increase so I don't find the ace of spades to be worth it certainly not over something as good as the bloody penny or Judas's tongue should I go f should I go back for that Secret room can be here. And is there? Oh dear. Okay. Well, we're pretty much secure on an arcade on Necropolis 2. Or Depths 2, whichever one we wind up getting. Oh. I remembered to not move on this room. Fun trick for this room, if you come in from the top or the bottom and you don't move, like you look at the room, quickly assess the situation and figure out, oh, if I don't move, they can't aggro onto me. So it's just a matter of whether they, uh, whether they actually wander into you, which they shouldn't be able to do before you kill them. Good. Orbital carry. I don't think I'll be going for playing the uh, slot machine. Not for now. Okay, let's see what's in the chest chest with some spiders in. Thanks a lot, game. Really means a bunch. It's another room where if you don't move, they won't aggro. So there's actually very low chance that you actually get hit in this room if you don't move. Of course, there's not much of a chance even if you do Balls of steel, I'll take that in a bit. And health up. Cool. Great pills to have around. Still love to get a key. But at this point, we could pretend that we got less than three in the item room. 
in the second item room and then, you know, move on. Okay. Nothing left for us to do on this floor. There's no hearts that I care to grab. Because we have effectively the same amount of health as we would if, uh, if we had that full heart container. Plus there's a heart on our way. And I say effectively the same amount of health because I'm thinking ahead to the, um, the womb. So on to Necro XL. We should, in theory, have an arcade somewhere on this floor. Because we came in with five cents or more. And I didn't do that right. It would have taken too long for me to do it right. What I was trying to do there is get out of the room first. Whoop. Don't take that. Especially not now that we've already gotten hit for red heart damage. Oops. I think that was worth it even... Well, even though I got hit. It definitely was worth the risk trying to set up the uh, trick. You can actually get through those without taking damage. It isn't even very hard. I'm just bad at vertical and horizontal. Because they are a good bit trickier than diagonal. Alright, let's see what this is. Can it be another health up? Speed up, maybe? Full health. Cool. Probably should have saved that, but whatever. Keepers and a hanger. Bit of an unpleasant room. Nothing too scary though with the damage that I have. Kinda wanna stand in the beams of this, cause there's only a 50% chance that I actually get hit every time. Flat 50. Okay, let's see what's in here. Game Kid. Teleport. Nope. To both. Both of those are mediocre at best. Mediocre being the Game Kid. Pretty crappy being the teleport. <laughs> Have enough bombs where I could start looking for my secret room, but... It can't be the one... It can't be in the one horseshoe that I have available to me. That being directly above the item room cannot be there. Because, uh... That would put it in a C shape that has an icon, and that's impossible. Be done with this room. I don't like it. Chubbers are too strong, man. I hope they get nerfed to hell and back in rebirth. Alright, I'm tempted to go all the way back, but no. Waste of my time. More pretty flies. Oh, well. Keep dropping pills, please. Temperance. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Alright. Well, this guy is going to pay out now. 
Wow, what? We got two dimes from that first play? Holy crap. For those of you who don't know this trick, my health isn't going down because I have Mercy Invincibility that resets every time I switch rooms. And within the timing of Mercy Invincibility, you can actually use the IV bag a second time. So, I have functionally infinite health for the sake of the IV bag. So, what's been improbable up to that point has now become inevitable. He will pay out. Oh, or I'll die. <laughs> uh, had a game-winning setup, easily, and then died to carelessness. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> I uh, want to record something before going to bed. I am quite tired now. That was actually perfect. Good night, everybody.